Previously on War on the Sea, Centrifugal Offensive. Between the 22nd and 25th of March 1942, we have continued to patrol the waters around Makassar. The enemy has bombarded the base once again, to soften up its defences before landing their invasion force to try and retake the area. Our garrison forces continue to fight bravely against the enemy. Supported by our air force, who have attempted many raids against the enemy's invasion force. Despite their best efforts, the ships were able to slip away nursing their wounds, but we can expect to see them once again in the near future. While our losses continue to mount up, we are desperate to get a hold of the situation as we face an almost endless supply of enemy ships, men and aircraft which continue to probe at our weakening defences. It's only a matter of time before the enemy deal us a decisive blow. At 5 o'clock on the 26th of March, we've got some Val dive bombers up in the air as one of our recon aircraft has spotted a small merchant convoy. So we are coming to potentially shatter their convoy to pieces. Well, I see two ships there. There's a large merchant ship with a little... Ah, no, no, no. Okay, it looks like one merchant ship with three escort um, corvettes. Not particularly exciting, but okay. Let's um, make sure we get the merchant ship and then we'll take a pop shot at the, uh, the escort ships. Reduce their number if possible. Okay, here they go. We've got several flights. You see one dropping down there, diving in on the merchant ship. And the others, we've got one flight each going for the escort ships. Not terribly worried about them. Okay, you can hear the aircraft screaming in. Bombs gone. Hits on the merchant ship to begin with. Nice. We've got a good view of all four ships here. So as the... Um, other aircrafts come screaming in on the destroyer behind. Mist on the escort ship behind. Two good hits on the. Um, oh, missed that escort ship as well. The one's going down to hit the one behind. Oh! Okay, we've missed all the escort ships, but we may have one more flight coming in to try and hit this ship. Good hits. There is some damage. That one back there is smoking as well, but this one's had. Oh, this one's gone. Beautiful. Right. Confirmation then. Uh, we had the submarines row 29 and 30 in the area, not too close, uh, but 18 dive bombers from the aircraft carrier were sent and they have sunk one large merchant ship for 4,800 tons and uh, on a second smaller one minor damage and minor flooding. At quarter to 10 in the morning on the 27th of March I-123 who's patrolling around Makassar spots a terrifying sight. The enemy's invasion force is heading back in there they are and it looks like destroyers are already turning to face us and maybe charge us down. There is a battleship in there and the heavy cruiser maybe or two battleships. Okay, the aircraft carrier is not with them. But let's see if we can lose some torpedoes. Look at the number of destroyers which will absolutely hunt us down. As we wait here watching the movements, uh, a ship has capsized. A ship has capsized. Oh, it's not the battleship, is it? No, there's the battleship there. Wow, what is this? There's been some sort of confusion and the ship has capsized. 
Oh my goodness, it looks like a cruiser and a destroyer. Oh! Oh, and the cruiser's righted itself. And there goes the, uh... Well, two maneuver kills already! I-123, they may not even... Well, they know of a presence. You can see the destroyers making their way towards her already. Uh, I'm really starting to think we just get the submarine out of there because the battleship is long gone. The destroyers are heading in her direction. And she's already claimed two victims just by her mere presence. Okay, we are sitting on the seabed, hoping they don't land one of these depth charges on us. Haven't seen anything coming off the... This is the second destroyer going over. The first destroyer is turned away over there. Was that a splash then? I'm not sure. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh god. Hopefully they're going into the sea, into the sand and the seabed, and um, they'll avoid us another time. That's just above us. Unfortunately, we did not get away with those attacks scot free as they come around once again. Um, uh, we've got flooding in the forward bow. Um, yeah, sorry, flooding in the forward bow tubes and all that section, the front torpedo tubes are all sunk, as is the. Um, front couple of... oh, we're dead. And unfortunately, despite surviving numerous depth charge runs, the loss of I-123 was inevitable in the end. Um, they just detected us before the conflict started, and uh, we couldn't, we could never outrun them under the uh, under the waves. So um, yeah, they hunted us down and they killed us. But the 1,800 tons that we've lost and the crew of I-123 will be glad that at least a destroyer was sunk this 1316 tons and a and a cruiser was sunk for 8390 tons so two warships sunk for a total of 9706 tons and a couple of command points gained so with the loss of i123 um i121 is going to be re tasked to um, complete the patrol off uh, Makisar. We've got aircraft launching from the carrier to try and attack and I've got aircraft launching from the base up there to attack and from here as well. Um, yeah. We're going to take a pounding at Makisar. 
Uh, we got 9,447 troops holding there. More troops will be dropped off. There's no facilities to be um, hit, but no doubt they'll bombard the base one more time to reduce our garrison there. Boom! As the um, sh base gets struck, we've got some uh, Kate torpedo bombers right in the area. Here they are. Can they see the bombardment of our base? We know they're here. We just we just seen the base go up. It's a little bit misty, so we'll have to fly on a bit, maybe. But they're here, all right. We just got to find them. We were unable to find the ships. Now, if they are mugging us off here, we've just seen them strike the base. Why can we not find them? There's another um, spotter plane. Let's follow the spotter plane out then, see if that will take us back to their ships. It can't be this way anymore because they're coming to the air, the um, oh they're there. What an absolute crock. Right, course there. This time we do find them. Thank heavens. Right, battleships primary target, but there's a couple of cruisers in there and a couple of troop ships in there as well. Okay, here we go. So we've got the bulk of the force attacking the battleship, which I think is a King George V battleship. Uh, we know that's been out here for some time. Uh, so three flights are going to attack that. Two remaining flights are going to attack the light cruisers there and there. I think that's a Leander class. And I think that's a Java class. So there the, we're going to attack all the cruisers, or both cruisers, and the battleship. The d escort ships, the destroyers and the destroyer escorts, plus this um, troop ship or this cargo ship are going to get a pass this time but some of the um, torpedoes may whistle wide and um, catch them in the crossfire. Cool. Already lost one as the first aircraft wave comes in. Torpedoes gone. Let's get them out of there. Second wave incoming. First wave one smoking. Obviously one got shot down to begin with. Torpedoes gone. Get out of here. Oh, one good hit. On a dud. Meanwhile, wave three dropping their torpedoes. Oh, it looks good. It looks really good. She's going to do well to get out of this. One hit. Dud. Two hits. Meanwhile, torpedoes would have gone. Watch the ships in the background as one of our aircrafts gets shot down. Two of them as another. Torpedo strikes, another torpedo strikes. How are the light cruisers doing in the background? Strike against the light cruiser Leander class. And a second. Is that it? No more hits. I think the Java one got away with it. But, oh, she's listing and she is going very, very low in the water. I think we may have got ourselves a battleship. We've got another flight of torpedo bombers coming in. If you don't finish her off, she is going to be very badly damaged and she's not going to be fast moving for sure. And fires are breaking out now in the uh, midships. Meanwhile, the Leander class is also... Well, I'm not sure if she's just listing because she's turning sharply. Could be, might not be. But yes. Fires breaking out on the battleship. So, at the after action report, our Valiant bombers went in. 15 of them. We lost 8 due to the heavy anti-aircraft fire. 
the King George V battleship, heavy flooding, mo sorry, heavy damage, moderate flooding, they were able to save her. The modified Leander cruiser, heavy damage, heavy flooding, and moderate damage and heavy flooding to, um, that doesn't look like the Java cruiser, that could be, I don't know, there's the Java cruiser there, no, that's a destroyer, must have been clipped by one of those torpedoes unseen by us. But they would have been slowed, so hopefully our other aircraft can f come in and finish the job. Five minutes later, we've got our bombers coming in here. Um, and the seas are empty once again. Bring up the map, you can see there's the Cape torpedo bombers who've just done their attack. They should be right here, the ships, but they're not. Okay, we might just gonna have to do another search for them. Um, we cannot find those ships. Nonsense. They would be here. Where have they disappeared to? There's absolutely no way they would get away with that. Oh my goodness, we've got all our bombers coming in here and there's not a single ship to be seen. Do we believe this? No, we do not. Oh, and our valves, which we also launched, are very short of fuel and need to go back very soon. Uh, the Kates, who've done their, their bidding, they're, um, they're all still searching. Let's. Oh, they won't make that. And then we've got the uh, Bettys down here, who are desperately searching just in case they've um, tried to scarp her home. Well, as our bombers return home, I'm going to call absolute nonsense with that. Absolute nonsense! They were there! The Kates were still in the area. For tr ah. Yeah, you might as well go home. This game's dumb. <laughs> that is just so pathetic. I'm sorry. That's annoyed me. That has annoyed me, that has. She was there for the taking. We had the aircraft in the air, ready to pounce, and the cloaking device goes on once again. At 2.15 the following day, we've got one of our ships has spotted a group of... So one of the aircraft has group, spotted a group of ships, which is an oil tanker, a couple of merchants and a couple of escorts. Well, it's not the King George V battleship which we should have been able to finish off, but it is a worthy target. So let's get that radioed in and uh, bring some enemy air raids on them. 40 minutes later, our torpedo bombers arrive. There they are, dead ahead. These ones don't have the cloaking device, it would seem. So let's see, maybe line up for the oil tanker. We've got valves coming in behind us as well. So we've only got seven torpedo bombers left. Uh, but we've got the dive bombers coming in as well. Okay. Flax coming in. Ooh, getting really quite close to that Leeds flight. Surprised if they all make it there and make it out. Almost ready to drop. Torpedo's gone. Coming in, following up. Torpedo gone. Third flight coming in. Torpedo's gone. Hopefully, we'll get some good strikes on this. think she's gone. Of course we don't get any duds with her. Yeah. <laughs> Every torpedo is true. Ah, oh, okay. Just our luck. As the bombers streak away, the tanker starts sinking. Unsurprising with the relentless seven torpedo hits. Confirmation then, our seven torpedo bombers attacked. And we hit a large tanker for 9,514 9, tons. And we've got the valves coming in as well, which will target the other two merchant ships. Unfortunately, they disappeared again. The valves, you see, there's the um, torpedo bombers heading back. But the valves are right behind them. They were unable to find that convoy. The good news is we just got another 25 command points from the weekly churn. 
So if we look over here, our oh actually, how how many? We need uh, seventy odd, um, well sixty odd actually, uh, fuel, and we need um, three hundred say supplies. What we got up here? Nothing much happening. What do we got over here? Oops. Pontianac, we've got oh not quite the fuel, all the supplies. Um. Right, let's fill up the fuel here, then we'll, we'll, we'll travel around, I think, and pick up what the the, uh, the rest of what we can. Right, let's manage cargo. So, um, what I'm after is the oil tanker. There we go, let's pick up those 67 fuel. And then Merch One can set sail around the shore up to in to get the other supplies and the fuel and then we get this into a level 3 port at Balik Papan. At 8am on the 29th of March, RO 29 and 30 have spotted something while on patrol. Smoke on the horizon over there. It's, uh, it's a merchant convoy. Looks like a tanker escorted by a corvette and two other merchant ships that I can see. I don't see a second escort ship so okay we've got two subs here we should be able to start uh, picking these off. Okay it would appear that the escort ship has um, spotted us and has decided to come for us so I'm going to send a couple of torpedoes his way and hopefully that should clear us far on the rest. Meanwhile RO30 has been targeting the ship back here uh, still only 26% but because the ship is coming let's get that bit wider spread and fire the tubes there and you can get out of dodge start going dive down I wonder should we just put them on a bigger bar the other two as well and they may hit the ships behind right Let's get out of here. Torpedoes have missed the escort ship. Um, there's a sporting chance they could. No, they're not going to hit the tanker. This may be a busted flush. And one of the torpedoes does indeed strike the escorting ship. The corvette is out of action. However, the other torpedoes have missed the um, evasive maneuvering tanker behind. Right. RO30 has surfaced. Let's see if we can use. The, can we use the dead gun? Let's um, target and fire. Uh, high explosives. Fire. They are returning fire, however. Ah, it's the ship over there. Okay, all ships are returning far. This is probably a little bit of folly. Um, submerge the ship. Let's not risk it. Confirmation that despite uh, our best efforts, um, we sunk the Corvette for 735 tons, but the other ships managed to uh, sneak away. At 9.51 our torpedo bombers are in the area of those uh, three ships that got away from our RO29 and RO30 submarines. So let's see if we can um, set up an attack and see if we can sink at least two of these ships. Okay here we come, uh, seven aircraft once again, six, two flights of three, six aircraft are attacking the tanker and we are the odd one out so we're attacking this um, tail end Charlie here. 
See if we can get a torpedo in on them. And hopefully get them sunk. Torpedo away. Okay, red wave are coming in. Torpedo's gone. Lead flight is smoking a little bit. Okay, lead has been shot down. Torpedo strike on the ship at the rear. Now, three torpedoes incoming. One looks like it's going to slip behind, but the other two look good as the third flight comes in. Purple flights. One hit. Two hits. Torpedoes in the water from the third and final flight. Fire starting to erupt and they're slowing down, so a couple of these torpedoes may go in front, but I think she may get another two hits coming in here. Right on the bow. Oh, beautiful. And the other one slips by. So these two ships are in trouble. Hopefully that should be enough to take the tanker for sure. Not sure about the uh, the one behind. One torpedo may not be enough, although she looks in trouble. Fire's blazing. She's listing a little bit. Time will tell. There goes the tanker. Confirmation at the end of that action. Uh, unfortunately, we lost one of our eight aircraft. Uh, the eighth one was a recon Betty in flying the area. We had seven torpedo bombers going in. We lost one of those. So we're down to six torpedo bombers from the carrier. Um, we were able to sink the tanker for 9,514 tons. The merchant ship, however, critical damage, heavy flooding, but they were able to save her. Right, we'll get those boys heading back to base, which is the aircraft carrier, of course. Uh, and there we are. We've got um, Merch One heading around here to try and get some more fuel and supplies to get um, Balik Papan up to a level 3 port, which will continue next time. Um, we had what looked to be the Royal Navy with the Dutch Navy also attacking Makassar. We were able to deal some damage. Uh, we lost I-123, but her presence alone was able to sink a cruiser and a destroyer in some sort of maneuvering blunder. Not quite sure what happened there. But unfortunately, the um, the very alert Royal Navy destroyers and destroyer escorts were able to um, depth charge and sink I-123. Our destroyer is due out of rest and repair next time and in three days the Mayoku Heavy Class Cruiser Haguro and three days later the Nachi uh, are all coming out of rest and repair so in the next week we should have two heavy cruisers and a destroyer ready to go. We have 94 command points as well, which means we can purchase some more backup ships and um, try and boost our fleet. I think one of the things I want to do in particular is um, I want to get another carrier. I think um, the aircraft carrier is probably the only way we can potentially win this. We've got the Sorayu class carrier. They carry uh, zero, 21 zeros, uh, 18 dive bomber valves, and 18 Kate torpedo bombers. So that's um, like the one we've got. 99. So, um, yeah, is that the cheapest? We've got the Haru, that's the one we've got, of course, which has got um, 21, 18, 18. Already got one of those, 111. Okay, so what we might do next time when the ships click over is get another aircraft carrier, maybe a heavy cruiser, and a couple of escort sh um, vessels as well. And that could be another group. And then maybe we'll send this one back to replenish her aircraft. But I want to get a carrier working at all times. That seems to be the most effective way of striking quickly on the enemy fleets. We don't have the firepower on the surface to take them on at the moment, and probably never will have against the Royal Navy, the American Navy, and the Dutch Navy. Uh, we probably don't stand to hope in heck to try and do that, so aircraft is probably our best way forward. Uh, and we'll pick this up again next time. Thanks so much for watching. Take care. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.